Hey gangaroos, actually gangaroos, actually no, Ubers, that's your new name, Ubers. Um, I'm going to try and keep this fairly short because uh, my camera, this is the camera that I normally use all the time. Uh, I've had it for about seven months, it's a great camera, it does everything that I want. Um, but on the weekend, some of you that follow me on Twitter know that I went out and had a bit of a drinking weekend, which doesn't happen that often, but... Um, I was drinking spirits as well, which is even worse if you haven't been drinking for a while. Um, but yeah, when I brought my camera home, uh, the lens doesn't retract. It makes a noise, but no. So I'm actually putting that into repair. But the camera that um, I'm filming on now is, uh, is the model before that. But the reason uh, why I'd, I had, had to replace it was because the battery life is just... It doesn't last that long, and plus, um, the the thing that holds the battery in broke, and the lens has got a bit of a crack in it as well. Well, not the front lens, the uh, reverse lens. Anyway, moving right along. Um, I've been working on masks. Masks, yep. Uh, well, sort of clay masks as well as like, I don't know, garden mar garden ornaments. Um, that's a new one. I don't know if you've seen that one. Uh, I'm just firing these in my Raku kiln, which has turned out excellent. It's another little cool one. Now I'm taking most of these to this art uh, fair that I've got coming up in uh, end of September. Um, I'm also I'm also making um, some wall lights. Like this is the light comes out there and there. I put some ceramic fibre behind the light so it doesn't catch fire on the wood because um, that wouldn't be too pretty. Um, so that's that one. This is a new one I'm working on. Um, so the light's hopefully going to come up through here and the light will come out of the sides. So yeah, having fun with those. I'm also about to start work on a new superhero series of uh, little artworks. Uh, I don't know why, I just I thought I haven't done a superhero series yet, so that's what I'm working on. Um, coming up with some designs. So you're gonna see lots of different characters uh, for the superhero series. I may even do a couple of big paintings as well. I was out picking up the cows the other day and um, we got lots of rocks on the on the um, out on the property and um, it's got all this mo uh, moss lichen growing on it and anyway I just picked a piece off and I thought oh, wow the texture on this um, yeah laugh that's right <clears throat> so I pulled some off and this is like a piece of lichen look at the texture on it isn't that amazing even both sides actually looks like coral from the from the ocean so I collected a huge big bag of it because I thought oh yeah I can do something with this um, you know, I'm creative, I'll come up with something, <laughs> you know, yeah. So I went and collected this huge big bag. Um, I spray painted on some to see the effect. I also created a, um, a cast in Plaster of Paris of uh, the textures because I thought I could use my clay, press the clay into it. Uh, and then create faces with this beautiful sort of texture around it. So I've still got to uh, actually make some faces with this actual imprint. But it just goes to show you if, you, if you look around, it's amazing what you find. But I just thought, such a cool texture. Um, so next I'm going to try uh, putting it in water, getting it soft, and then gluing it to a box when it's all flat. Um, with uh, like a uh, hot glue gun and then spraying it so create a funky box out of lichen <laughs> see how it goes um i wanted to talk about oh what was i gonna say hmm, i forgot now yeah oh i remember uh I'll, about the uh, roast pork cooking uh video that i posted uh, a couple of weeks, a week ago or so, uh, I know it was quite funny because some of you said, "Why, you know, you were so calm when the dish broke," and and you know, 
well, you know, I'm actually an ex-chef, so that sort of thing doesn't faze me too much. Um, you know, I've worked in kitchens for eight years and, you know, stuff like that happens all the time. So, you know, I'm not too stressed about it. Unless it just exploded into flames and, you know, something like that, then sure, um, I would freak out a bit. Not much, though, a bit. But um, <laughs> I was having the biggest laugh about it afterwards, trust me. It was just, oh, too funny. Um, but speaking of um, when I was a chef, actually I'll tell you about the first day of my apprenticeship. Uh, I got an apprenticeship uh, working for a um, four-star hotel. Really, really fancy one. And um, the executive chef was French and he was a bit arrogant. He didn't really like me. Um, I don't know why, I just never did. And even out through the first three years of my apprenticeship, oh, so many arguments between me and him. Um, but I found out the reason why at the end, because uh, he saw I had potential, but he decided that he needed to be hard on me for that reason. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, my first day. I had to peel some avocados. So, yeah. So I was looking for my for my little prop, but I've left it upstairs. It was a knife. Um, so I had my avocado like this, and you know how when you cut an avocado through the center and around, and then you twist it in half, so you've got two halves, and then the seeds like on one side. And how you, what you do is you get your knife, and and you like that's the say that's the blade of the knife, and you go like that on the avocado seed, turn it, and then pull the seed off, uh, and then you just flick it off and dispose of the seed. Well, what did I do? <laughs> Instead of holding the blade like that, I actually held it like with the point, like I'm stabbing someone. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, the knife hit the seed, slid around the seed, went through the avocado and actually went through into my hand and actually the point came out, uh, where was it there? Just on the other side of my, my bone. Oh man, it happened so quick I went and I pulled it out like this and it was just like this huge big gash and it was like, oh my god. Um, that was my first day. So you can imagine what everyone was thinking, oh, what have we employed? <laughs> but it did get better after that. Um, but I didn't get any stitches, decided not to stitch it and I went back to work the next day. and. Every now and again, I get little tingles, like, uh, because I think I've severed some little nerves or something, every now and again it tingles a little bit, um, but that's life, and I'm fine, and I hope you're well, and have a great weekend, and thanks for, yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs> okay, guys. Rate it, even if you hate it. Later.